On November 23rd, the International Day to End Impunity, the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety organized a ceremony of commemoration for late journalist Rafik Tagi, who died after brutal stabbing two years ago on this day. IRF's chairman Emin Hussainov said that 23rd of November was declared as the International Day to End Impunity in 2011, two years after the Impatan massacre in the Philippines, when 32 innocent journalists and media workers covering election process were shot dead. By bad luck, two years after this massacre, on the same day in Azerbaijan, died journalist Rafik Tagi as a result of brutal stabbing that he suffered four days earlier. It is a clear example for the world community that the same crime which had happened in the Philippines happened in Azerbaijan. Human rights cannot be internal issues of any state. That is why on this day we and other journalistic organizations across the world have decided to commemorate the murdered journalists and we believe that this day will officially be recognized as International Day to End Impunity by the United Nations, Hussainov said. Hussainov also announced the launch of a signature collecting campaign which aims to perpetuate the memory of the murdered Azerbaijani journalists Elmar Hussainov and Rafik Tagi. If today Azerbaijani citizens who claim to be Sunni Muslims go to fight in Syria against the Shiite and are killed there, they are definitely victims of superstitions. All those who oppose Rafik Tagi are guilty of his death, said the president of the Azerbaijan European movement Ramin Hajile. Rafik Tagi has a special place in the history of Azerbaijani literature and free speech, and attempts to silence the free speech in Azerbaijan will never succeed, said Tagi's colleague Rasim Karaja. Ilgar Tagi, brother of Rafik Tagi, thanked everyone for remembering his brother and said that the authorities are not interested in uncovering the crime and bringing the perpetrators to justice.